So now, just like we did before, Richard, it's going to be the exact same thing. Now what we need to do is, again, to determine if our two lines are parallel, we need to determine how are our angles supposed to relate. Remember, if they're alternate interior, they have to be equal, equal in value. If they're alternate exterior, they have to be equal in value. If they're corresponding, our two angles have to be equal in value. And then if they're consecutive interior, our angles have to add up to 180. So we look at these two angles and we determine what type of angles. Wait a minute. This is wrong problem, though. Uh, oh, I did alternate exterior last time, right? So these are alternate exterior. interior because they're inside of the lines we're trying to prove as parallel. So therefore, we write an equation 6x plus 4 equals 8x minus 8. And we say alternate interior. Last problem was alternate exterior. Consecutive interior equal 180. Or the sum of the two angles equals 180. So now we just need to show when, what values are my alternate interior angle is going to be equal in value. And for that, when we have that value, these two angles will be parallel. So again, we get the x's on the same side. So I always like to subtract the smallest um, term of the x. So you have 4 equals 2x minus 8. Now we just need to isolate the variable right, by using our inverse properties of um, operation. So I add 8. So what that means is when x equals 6, my alternate interior angles are equal in value or equal in measure. Therefore, L is parallel to M. Cool? When x equals 6, these two angles are equal in measure. Well, watch. Let's take a look at 6. 6 times 6x plus 4 is equal to 8 times 6 minus 8. Right? When x equals 6, what I just solved, what do we get? We get 36 plus 4. Over here, we get uh, 48 minus 8. Here, we get 40 equals 40. So what that means is when x is equal to 6, these two angles are equal to each other. Yes? Does that make sense? And what we know is when we have alternate interior angles that are equal in measure, we have parallel lines. Right? All right. But what if I did 2? What about if I said, what about when x equals 2? So therefore, you'd have 12 plus 4 equals 16 minus 8. So you have 16 equals 8. Does 16 equal 8? No. no. So therefore, when x equals 2, are your alternate interior angles equal in, me equal in measure? No. So therefore, you don't have parallel lines. You only have parallel lines when you have alternate interior angles that are equal in measure. Does that make sense? And the only time we have them equal in measure is when x is equal to 6. OK? Would so that be a cool 